Hey, in this video I will show you how to use another hosting service to run your scripts 24 hours a day. Replit was the best one to host Python and Node.js apps, definitely. But after the last update we can't use it 24 hours a day for free. Okay, there is another service, Render. Here you can deploy your app but there are a lot of restrictions. You will get only 750 hours per month for free. That means you can run only one application on one account. And you can run some app only from GitHub or GitLab repos. Then you need to have GitHub or GitLab account to upload the app. One more thing, you can't change any settings and files when it's working. So you have to get cookies or some API codes before you deploy the script. Okay, in this video I will try to host simple Discord bot written on Node.js and Telegram bot on Python. You can deploy any app you want in the same way. Comment below which app should I show, like Steam Hours Boost or Twitch Miner. You can use your Google, GitHub or GitLab to sign up, or just use email. First let's take Discord bot. It's simple echo bot on Node.js. You can use any other one. I found this bot on GitHub and I will try to Run it. You can use only GitHub or GitLab repos, so to run the script you have to upload it to GitHub or GitLab. I just forked this repo to my GitHub so I can make changes. Open index.js, and make sure you use the environment variable like this. It's token for this script. And then go to package.json file. You must have dependencies here. There should be all the libraries that are used on the bot. You can't run the bot without it. And to run it all the time add a new file, keep underscore alive.js. If you do that on replit before, I think you know what it is. And add it to the index.js. Don't forget to save all changes. Alright, then go to the render website. Click new, web service. Select the first option, build from GitHub or GitLab page. Click next. If you have private repo, connect your GitHub to render. Or if you have a public one, just copy the repo link and paste it here. Okay, then you should make some config. Name is anything you want. In runtime, select what kind of script you are using now. In my case it's Node.js. Build command. If you use Node.js enter here npm install. That's why you should have the package.json file with libraries. Start command is the default. Node index.js. Scroll down. Select here a free plan, or some paid one if you want to run some serious project. With a paid instance you don't need to use uptime robot, and it costs from $7 per month, cheaper than replit. I will use a free plan. Then enter the variables you have in the script, in my case it's token. Enter a key with the same case as in the script, and in value, I put my bot token. You can add as many variables as you want. And now you can just deploy it, click, create web service. Wait when it will be installed. It takes some time. You can see all logs here. My bot is logged, that means it's working. Let's make it work all the time, without falling asleep. You can see an application link here. Open it, and if you see him alive here, it works correctly. Copy the link, and make a new monitor on Uptime Robot or other service. As you can see the bot is online, and it's replying to me. What if you want to make changes in the bot? Go to the GitHub repo you use to deploy. Make here some changes. For example I want the bot show messages in the console. Save changes here, then go to the render app again. Click, manual deploy, deploy latest commit. Wait some time, and now it's good. The next one is Python Telegram bot. It's an echo bot as well. I created this repo. The main file is main.py. In Python, add environment variables differently, os.environ.get, and the key name in brackets. Don't forget to import os. To work it all the time add the keep alive here. You need to add the keep alive.py file to the repo. And also it's needed to create a requirements text file, and enter all the packages you used in the app. Add flask here if you haven't it. Alright, go to render, click, new, web service. Add it from GitHub, and then copy the GitHub or GitLab link and paste it here. If you are using some private repo, just connect GitHub to render, and make a config. Name it as you want, runtime is Python 3. Leave the build command as default, and in start command enter, Python, and the name of the main file, in my case it's main.py. I choose the free plan. Add a variable, token, and in the value enter actual token from Telegram. Then just click, create web service. Wait some time, and now it's working. Click this link, and if you see alive, you did everything right. You can add it to Uptime Robot to run the bot 24 hours a day. The bot is replying to me, so that's good. If you are looking for Steam Hours Booster on Twitch Miner, just wait when I will upload new videos. Thanks this man for providing useful information. Leave a comment if you have any question, or you have another hosting service that really works. Thanks for watching.